Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. Thank you so much for stopping by. May the Lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It shocks them that you are still strong, that you are still standing tall despite everything they did to you. They are shocked that you are still standing despite everything that happened to you. When people do things to you, they are intentional about it. And their intentions are to break you. They intend to break you. They intend that you lose focus. They intend to destabilize you. So people do not only hurt you because they want you to feel bad. But they equally want you to lose focus, to lose it, you know. So many people, when they are hurt, they turn to be unproductive. They turn to be destabilized. They can't really do anything much with their life. They are just hanging. That is what they wanted for you. They thought hurting you was going to destabilize you. Hurting you was going to make you quit on your major projects. They thought um, hurting you was going to change your life's cost entirely. But they are in shock right now. They can't believe that you are still standing tall. They can't believe that you are still strong. And yes, I, I believe the word of the Lord that says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. As Christians, we do not draw our strength from the things that are happening around us. Because most of the times, there is really nothing much to hold on to. Most of the time, surrounding circumstances are not really the best. Most of the times, if you're looking around to, to get a reason to be happy, it's going to be really difficult. But the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. It means we pull our strength from God and not from the happenings around us. We derive our joy from the Lord. That is why even though people would hurt you, they would backstab you, they would tell on you, turn on you, and expecting that you're going to be devastated, broken, shattered. But by the grace of God and by his mercy, you are still standing because it is not by your strength. It is by the grace of God. Oh, the grace of God has kept you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God keep strengthening you to the shame of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God keep giving you a reason to smile. Even in chaos, may God keep giving you the re a reason to have joy. Even when everywhere around you is chaotic. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will do it for you to the shock of the devil. When the devil comes back knocking, when the devil comes back looking for you in that place of depression, in that place of brokenness, when the devil comes back looking for you in that place of depression, he will no longer find you there because God has clothed you with joy that comes from above. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. I'll see you in our next video. 